now good morning everyone <coughs> so uh, in the previous lecture uh, you have done the block diagram reduction the immediate application of the principle of that is the analysis and the design of the feedback system okay now by this analysis and uh, design uh, you can find the percent overshoot settling time peak time and rise time uh, from the equivalent transfer function now let us consider a trans uh, let us consider a system feedback system as shown here so it is actually a second order system and it can model the amplifier motor loads uh, or the gears now it is a closed loop system and the uh, transfer function of the closed loop system can be obtained as uh, um, explained previously um, in the previous lecture that the transfer function of this closed loop system can be obtained by gs divided by 1 plus gs into hs so in this case the gs is equals to this k and hs is in this case is 1 so this is the transfer function uh, in this case now k models the amplifier gain uh, that is the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage now as the value of this k varies the pole moves through the three ranges of operation of a second order system pole moves through the three ranges of operation of the second order system that is uh, over damped critically damped and under damped now let us consider the case if the if the value of the k is between 0 to a square by 4 if the value of the k is between 0 to a square uh, by 4 the poles of the system are real the poles of the system are real that is these are actually the poles of the system which can be obtained by solving this equation the poles of the system are real and response is over damped okay the poles are real and response is over damped now as the value of k increases the pole moves along the real axis and system remains over damped now when the value of the k equal to a square by 4 we can say that uh, the uh, this uh, uh, both the poles are real that is imaginary part vanishes we have the real poles real and equal poles and the system is critically damped in this case now for the gain if the gain is above a square by 4 the system is under damped and the poles are given by this the system is uh, under damped and these are actually the complex poles now as the value of the k increases the real part remains constant and imaginary part increases uh, that is uh, as we are increasing the value of the k the uh, real part remains constant that is real part in this case remains constant because this real part is not the function of k it remains constant and imaginary part increases that is imaginary part increases as the value of the k is varied thus the peak time decreases and percent overshoot increases that is peak time decreases and the percent overshoot percent overshoot increases and the settling time remains constant because these are not the function of this real part now uh, to explain this let us uh, take a small example now for the system shown in the figure uh, <coughs> we have to find the peak time percent overshoot and settling time so for this we have to find the tp percent overshoot and settling time that is ts now uh the closed loop transfer function of the system as uh, we have uh, as explained previously that is gs divided by 1 plus gs hs which is it is given by 25 divided by s square plus 5s plus 25 in this way uh, now uh, comparing this equation uh, we get omega n uh, which is equals to uh, root of 25 which is equal to 5 that is uh, comparing this with the standard equation that is s square plus 2 xi omega n plus omega uh, n square so also we have the 2 xi omega n is given by is given by 
uh, that is uh, it is uh, given by 5 its value is 5 so the value of the xi solving these uh, these two we get 0 0.5 now from this uh, we uh, get the value of the percent overshoot that is we have to cal calculate the value of the that is percent overshoot peak time and the settling time now since uh, uh, from the uh, previous uh, modules we know that uh, uh, this peak time is given by pi divided by omega n 1 minus uh, 1 minus xi square and uh, it is equal to 0 0.726 seconds ok percent overshoot is given by this expression that is e minus xi pi divided by 1 minus xi square into 100 and its value is given by 16.303 so we have calculated this value and also the settling time is the expression for the settling time is ts is equals to 4 divided by xi omega n so it is given by 1.6 seconds so this is the tp percent overshoot and the settling time now let us take another example this is actually the finding the transient response different specification of this transient uh, response now here we have to design the gain for the transient response that is we have to design the value of the k for the uh, transient response now <coughs> let us consider a system as shown here uh, now here we have to design the value of the k we have to design the value of the k for if for this feedback control system so that the system will respond with the 10 percent overshoot so that so that the system will respond for 10 percent overshoot okay now this is the design thing that we have to do now a uh, as uh, uh, done previously we have to first find the first step is to find the uh, transfer function now the transfer function that since it is a closed loop so the transfer function can be obtained by gs divided by 1 plus hs into gs and the value of this is given by uh, this is uh, given by ts is equals to so it is equals to ts equals to k divided by s square plus 5s plus k so we have to design the value of the k so that the system will respond to the 10 percent of the overshoot so similarly as done in the previous case uh, the value of 2 xi omega n is equals to 5 omega n in this case is equals to root of k okay so and xi is given by in this case xi is equals to 5 divided by 2 root k okay now uh, we know that percent overshoot is a function of k now since the percent overshoot is given in this case percent overshoot is a function of k that is we have percent overshoot is equals to e minus xi pi divided by 1 minus xi square into 100 so it is a function of xi ok so since the percent overshoot given in this case is 10 percent that is the value of this percent overshoot is uh, given as its value is given as 10 percent so substituting we get the value of xi equals to 0 0.591 ok so putting the value of the xi here we get the value of k as 17.9 the value of k in this case is 17.9 ok 
Uh, we have used the percent overshoot in, uh, as the design criteria in this case. We, we could have selected the settling time as a design criteria uh, also in this case. It depends upon the problem in which we are dealing with. Now, um, this is the problem that uh, you have to do at your own end and uh, um, I will also give you as an assignment problem. Now, in this case, for a unity feedback control system with a forward path transfer function of this, design the value of A to yield the closed loop step response that is 5% overshoot with 5% overshoot. Now in this case uh, the unity feedback control system is given with the forward path gain of 16 divided by S plus S, uh, S into S plus A. So we have to design the value of the A to yield the closed loop step response that is uh, five percent with five percent overshoot so it is a uh, unity feedback control system so uh, how to uh, write the unity feedback control system that is uh, uh, feedback in this case is unity that is it is given that gs is given the value of gs is given in this case and then we have the unity feedback control system so unity feedback control system and it is like that okay so this is the unity feedback control system and gs in this case is 16 divided by s plus a we have to design the value of the a uh, uh, to yield a closed loop step response that is closed loop step response step response in this case input is 1 by s has an overshoot of 5 percent so that work you have to do at your own end and I can uh, mm, discuss uh, I can discuss if you uh, don't uh, if you will not be able to do it so this is all about the uh, design of uh, this uh, analysis and design of the feedback uh, systems and how by using uh, these uh, uh, blo uh, block uh, algebra and, uh, and the reduction techniques uh, you can uh, able to get the different uh, uh, transient design parameters so thank you very much